friends, my name is Pooja Aroda, Assistant Professor at Bani Group of Colleges. I am giving you video lecture on the, sub, uh, on the topic of graph theory in discrete maths. So, uh, in my last lecture, we have already discussed about what is graph and uh, vertex and ages, what is vertex, what is the age and type of vertices, type of ages in my last video lecture. And today, we are going to discuss about type of graph, what are the uh, different type of graph we have to study. There are some of the graph, there are some other graph also, so I am starting with these type of graph. The very firstly is called undirected graph and the second one is called directed graph. Okay, let us discuss these two firstly. So, what is an undirected graph? Undirected graph is uh, what we have seen in the last examples that in which there is no direction. That means, if I am drawing a graph like this, this is an undirected graph because there are vertex v1, v2, v3 and v4, ages e1, e2, e3 and e4, e5. But then, if I am saying that age e2 is from v1, v2, and if I am saying it is from V2 to V1, there is no difference because each E2 is saying to be connected with V1 and V2, but there is no direction that it is going to V1 to V2 or it is going to V2 to V1. So, direction is not specified here. So, this type of graph is called undirected graph. Okay. And second type of graph is called directed graph. What is directed graph? If I add the direction with the name of the age, for example, I am saying V1 v2, v3, v4 and what I am doing just adding the direction to each of the ages. I am saying that this age e1 is going from v3 to v1. So, this is age e1 with the direction, this is age e2 with this direction, I am adding direction like this and this and this. Now, this graph is called directed graph. Let us name this and I will explain you E4 and E5. Okay. So, this graph is called directed graph because here we have direction with each ages. For example, if I talk about E1, E1 is from V3 to V1. So, if I have to find that is there any age from V3 to V1, I will say yes, there is a age E1 who is going from V3 to V1. But then if I have to find that uh, is there any age from V1 to V3, so I will say that no, V1 to V3 there is no age in my graph. If I have to say there is no age in the graph from V1 to V3 because it is connected in this direction. So, this will be from V3 to V1. Okay. If I talk about this E2, it is from V1 to V2. So, E2 is from V1 to V2, it is E2. E3 is from V2 to V4, it is E3 and E4, E4 is from V4 to V3, the age is E4. Age E5 is from V3 to V2, it is E5. So, if I, uh, these are the ages and connective vertices. If I have to ask, if I ask that to, if there is any age from V2 to V3, so sorry, but there is no age from V2 to V3. So, this type of graph is called directed graph in which there is a direction with each age. So, uh, here V3 V1 and V1 V3 are totally different. This type of graph is called directed graph, okay. And this is undirected graph. Now, difference is very clear, but in our last lecture, we have already discussed that how to find the degree how to find the degree of each vertex for undirected graph. We have already seen the degree of vertices in undirected graph. Number of edges connected with the vertex is called the degree. So, uh, if I talk about the directed graph, how we can find the degree? To, to solve the problem, there are two type of degrees in directed graph. That one is in degree and the second one is out degree. There is two type of degree in uh, directed graph. The first one is in degree and the second one is out degree. What is difference between these two? The in degree is called that if the age is coming inside a vertex, then this, uh, a, this is in degree. And if any age is coming outside from that vertex, this degree is called out degree. Let us understand with the example. If I talk about vertex V1, okay. if I see 
the age even is coming inside coming toward v1 okay so this is included in the in degree it is included in the in degree i will count it in the in degree because uh, age even is coming toward v1 okay and if i see e2 there are two edges connecting v1 even and e2 but then this is coming toward e v1 so this is in degree and this edge e2 is coming outside from v1 so it is out degree we can define in other language also so if v1 is a starting point of any vertex then sorry v1 is a starting vertex of any edge then that is called out degree if v1 is ending vertex of any edge then it is called in degree so here it is an ending vertex so e1 is included in the in degree and e2 is included in the out degree so totally if we count that v1 has one in degree and one out degree in undirected graph we have seen that v1 has two degree and in directed graph we have seen that v1 has one in degree and one out degree okay now talk about v2 what about v2 e2 is coming toward v2 okay so it is in degree for v2 e3 is coming outside from v2 so it is an out degree for v2 and this is also an h e5 it is also coming toward v2 so it is also counted in in degree so if i count there are one and two edges coming towards v2 so two in degree and one edge coming outside from v2 so one out degree okay if i talk about vertex v3 what is this uh, one edge is coming toward so one in degree and one and two edges are going outside so two out degree for v3 and v4 one edge is coming toward and one is going outside so v4 one in degree and one out degree so in this way we find the degree in a directed graph uh, in directed graph there is two type of degree one is in degree and one is out degree so if you have to calculate the degree of vertices in directed graph you have to count both of the degrees in degree and out degree for that graph okay so these are two type of graph we have discussed the undirected graph and directed graph and we have already discussed that how to found the degree in directed graph okay and now let's move to the next type of graph in my list that is finite graph finite graph is nothing but any graph which has finite number of vertices is called finite graph it has finite degree because number of vertices is called degree so if i have finite number of vertices we are saying that we have finite number of degree of that graph then that graph is called a finite graph for example if i am having this graph this graph is a finite graph because there are 1 2 3 and 4 vertices we can count them finite number of vertices so this is called my finite graph then what is in finite graph if number of vertices are infinite then this type of graph is called infinite graph okay and the next one is called weighted graph what is weighted graph in some type of graph there is a weight or a number associated with the age then that type of graph is called weighted graph i repeat in some type of graph there is a weight or a number associated with ages then that type of graph is called weighted graph for example if i am having the simple example v1 v2 v3 and v4 and there is e1 e2 e3 and e4 then i am saying that this is 2 this is 4 this is 3 and this is 1 so these are the numbers associated with the particular age e1 has the weight 2 e2 has the weight 4 e3 has the weight 3 and e4 has the weight 1 so uh, here a weight or a number is associated with each of the ages so this type of graph is called weighted graph okay uh, in the same way as we have a direction in the di directed graph in this graph we have some weight with each age okay so this is one type of graph we have that is weighted graph and the next name is called null graph what is null graph null means you know nothing so null graph is nothing but uh, null graph is which have no ages 
there is no is in the graph only vertices and i have already told you that if a vertex is not connected to any of the vertex the, uh, any of the edges then that type of vertex is called isolated vertex so if a graph having only isolated vertices then that graph is called null graph for example if i draw like this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 this is v4 and this is v5 and that is my complete graph in the area then this graph is called a null graph because there are five vertices five vertices degree of the graph is 5 but there is no edges all vertices are isolated vertex so this type of graph is called null graph okay and the now two uh, name are coming that complete graph and connected graph let's discuss these two graph they are interrelated with each other so let explain i'm explaining one by one Uh, connected graph and complete graph what is connected graph connected graph simple definition is given by in the in which graph if all the vertices are connected then that graph is called connected graph for example this is a connected graph if i see this is also a connected graph because there are four vertices v1 v2 sorry v3 v2 v4 this is a connected graph because there are four vertices and every vertex is connected to the graph in any way there is no isolated vertex in connected graph for example this is not an connected graph because v5 is isolated it is not connected to your other part of the graph so this is not a connected graph but if i am having this only this is a connected graph because all the vertices are connected in any way to the graph okay for the next example if i say if i have this this is also a connected graph because no no vertex is isolated till now any uh, every vertex is connected to the graph in any way so these are called connected graph there is no isolated vertex in the graph that graph is called connected graph okay and now coming to the next one that is called complete graph complete graph what is complete graph complete graph in which every vertex is connected to each other vertex every vertex is connected to each other vertex then that graph is called complete graph if i have to draw a complete graph of four vertices v1 v2 v3 v4 then i what i have to look after that v1 is connected to v2 v1 is connected to v3 then i have to connect v1 and v4 v2 is connected to v1 v4 and v3 v4 is connected to v2 v3 and v1 all three this is now this is a complete graph of four vertices because in this graph every vertex is connected to each other vertex v1 is connected to v2 also v3 also and v4 also in the same way each and every vertex is connected to all other vertices then that type of graph is called complete graph okay and in connected graph only we have a minimum connectivity but there is only one condition that there is no isolated vertex in connected graph only one condition and in the complete graph the condition is every vertex has to connect to each other vertex separately so these are two type of graph which is asked uh, uh, to gather that what is the difference between connected graph and complete graph so this is basically a difference if i draw a line here it is also not complete graph it is still a connected graph because v1 is not connected to v4 in any way so you can't say this graph is a complete graph okay so uh, by this definition and by this explanation we can say that every complete graph is a connected graph because it is satisfying the condition that it doesn't have any isolated vertices so uh, it is a co co connected graph also but this is not a complete graph so we can say that every complete graph is a connect connected graph but vice versa is not always true okay so these are the example of connected graph and complete graph we can have some other examples also if i talk about the uh, three vertices graph this graph v1 v2 and v3 is a connected graph and if i have to do a complete graph v1 is connected to both v2 
is connected to both and V3 is connected to both. Now it is a complete graph. It is a connected graph and it is a complete graph. You can draw any number of vertices for the connected graph and complete graph and uh, look at the examples. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my content, please like, comment and share the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you once again.